What's up everybody, welcome to Midiverse TV. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Hex Inverter MIDI to CV module. This is a four channel MIDI to CV converter and it's pretty clever the way it's laid out. There's three different modes here that we can choose from and we're gonna kind of quickly go over those. So we'll go ahead and grab our MIDI cable here and plug that in. So the very first mode is Poly 1, and that is basically just a real basic four channel MIDI to CV converter. So the first note you hit will be CVA, the second note will be CVB, third note will be CVC, and so on. So as you see, I pushed down four notes here. You can see them light up on the, on the module. So those uh, CV outputs and the gate outputs correspond with those. So the next one is Poly 4, which is basically like a multi-timbral mode. So if we go to channel 1 on our sequencer, you see the first MIDI to CV channel lighting up. If we go to channel 2, you see the second one. If we go to channel 3, you see the third one. And if we go to channel 4, you'll see it light up the fourth channel. So that way you could get like a multi-timbral thing going on. And then lastly is the mono mode. So here we've got CV and gate outputs on the first row. The second CV output is assignable, and the gate output on that side ends up being a trigger. Underneath that, we've got velocity and start and stop sequencers. So if I push start on the MPC here, you see that light up, the run stop function. But underneath that, we've got the mod wheel and then a reset for sequencer resets. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, patch up just a real basic patch here. So we're taking our first CV output and running that into the one volt per octave input on our noise reap VCO. And we're going to take that output, the sawtooth waveform, into our VCA audio input. Then we'll take the gate output for the same channel and run that into the CV input of the VCA. And lastly, we'll run the output of our VCA into our mixer here so we can hear it. So now if we play the keyboard, you'll be able to hear it. the pitch bend uh, is included in the MIDI to CV conversion so that accounts for the, the pitch bend wheel which is nice okay so that's just like a real basic sort of a sound kind of go through the different waveforms on our VCO here real quick this is the triangle. This one's like a folded triangle. Kind of a unique waveform. And then lastly, we have our square wave. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do an example using the mod wheel of the MIDI the CV converter module. So we're gonna take our output from our VCO and run that into a filter here. Just a standard low pass filter. And then we're gonna run the output of the filter into the VCA like we had it before. Now we can hear that. And we'll go ahead and adjust the settings on our filter here, make it a little more clear. And I'll turn up the volume a little. Okay, so now we're gonna take our modulation output and run that into the CV input on the filter. So now basically we have control over the cutoff on the filter through the mod wheel on our MIDI control, which is really cool. Here I'll turn the low pass down so it's a little more noticeable. And now you can see there the filter opens up as we uh, turn up the mod wheel. Of course, this is just a really super basic example. Um, of course, in a larger system, you could get much more complex patches going on. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and push record on the MPC and make a quick little sequence here. And then what we're actually gonna do is sequence the mod wheel. So now that MIDI CC data has been recorded into the MPC, and then our MIDI the CV converter module converts that so that our modular system can use it. So now I'm just going to turn a couple knobs here and uh, see what kind of sounds we can get. 
Okay, and lastly here, we're going to take the triangle wave output of our LFO and put that into the pulse width modulation input on our VCO. Now, as we adjust that rate there, you can hear the waveform kind of... Um, <clears throat> basically, it's, it's uh, modulating to the point where you can't even hear it. And that's why it seem, sounds like it's kind of blinking on and off. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please push the like button. Feel free to subscribe and check out our website at midiversetv.blogspot.com. And feel free to add us on Twitter at midiverse underscore TV. Thanks.